When people look at me, they think I'm fine. They don't even know I went through this trauma. But my mind is another case. I've lost a piece of that. I suffer every day. I think about it every waking minute. I think about him hitting me and I can hear his grunt when he hit me from behind. I also suffer from severe anxiety, PTSD. There's a lot of different triggers that will cause me to have anxiety or panic attacks. Walking down corridors, I have issues with uh, men behind me. My head is constantly on a swivel, looking around, trying to see who's around me, who might come after me. My employer had to move me into an office so that my back was against the wall and I could see everybody coming towards me. I also struggle with guilt and shame. When he was strangling me, I gave up. I stopped fighting. Almost cost me my life and my children would have had to grow up without a mother and my husband would have had to bury me. You, know, you said it, well, the physical scars do heal, uh, but what's happened inside and the residual of this and the fear that it causes and the triggers that are left, I mean, those, those go on. Was there someone that may have seen something here? Yes, a woman who stated that she was in that hallway at the time I was taken and had witnessed two men at the, the door. And when she walked by, she gave him a smile and she said she actually feared for her life because of the looks that they gave her. And she went back to her room and she jokingly told her husband, you know, I'm glad I'm fat and ugly or I think they would have kidnapped me and threw me in that room. I want to talk about some excerpts from the affidavit of the witness that you're talking about. She says, as I walked to the lounge, I passed the maintenance closet and noticed two males standing against the wall with the maintenance door propped open. The two men were wearing uniforms. As I walked past the two men, I felt afraid. I realized she was attacked shortly after I walked past that propped maintenance closet. So your sense and what she reports having seen are very consistent. Supports it, yeah. Um, so that gives some information, but again... Well, they know. found evidence where I was found. There was a mop handle, um, a mop. And uh, when he was beating me, I thought he was using fists, but he was actually using the mop handle to beat me like, with a club, like a club. And there was blood all over the mop handle. I talked about residual. Yeah, um, I struggle every day. Um, my mind, I can't turn off my mind. My mind goes to that situation, what happened over and over and over again. It's like on a constant loop. This can last forever if, there, if you don't do certain things to be free of it. And I wanna talk about that with some, I don't wanna hurry that. Tammy wonders if she will ever be able to overcome all the feelings that she has, shame, guilt, anxiety, fear, all the things that you can imagine you're left with after this. She can, but it takes some work. 